Welcome back for my final daily report market analysis video with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Handtech on Thursday, the 13th of August. Let's have a look at this gold chart, which the volatility is starting to settle down a bit, a little bit more um, stable in terms of market moves today. Uh, had some wild, wild days actually recently. Huge sell off yes, uh, on Tuesday, massive early sell off, then big rebound, and then settled little bit higher into the close and that little bit higher move is also continuing today. Um, how does the market read this one? Well, technically you'd still say buying into weakness. You've got the uptrend, you've got all the moving averages rising, you've got the momentum indicators which have unwound but are still in positive configuration uh, in the fact that the MACD lines are above neutral. That is medium term positive still. Um, RSI holding a around the 50 mark. So the fact that the market started to stabilize is interesting. How, However, is this the end of the selling pressure? Um, on a technical basis, I don't think you, um, you can really tell yet, but I think what we're really looking out for is how the US fiscal support package, if and when it is announced, is um, how that is received. Um, if that pulls bond yields quite strongly higher, then you could see another leg lower on gold. For now, gold is consolidating. Hourly chart shows support really 10, uh, sorry, 1906, resistance 1949. They're the two levels that, to look out for, which are a little bit tighter. You can say 1921 at today's low and up towards 1941. Now, 1941, 1940 was the support of this old range. So that is an interesting old support that's become new resistance again. So the fact that you've got this, this uh, band of resistance 1941 to 1949 in place and yet to be overcome is a little bit of a concern if you're looking to be buying gold. But I think um, for my money, I think waiting for a little bit more to see how the, the, um, the market really does sort of see the dust settle. And uh, obviously, as I said, the volatility that you could see returning if there is an announcement over that US fiscal support package. Um, but as yet, that's not forthcoming. So we don't really know yet how that's going to impact it. But certainly the big, big sell off and the big shakeout, which actually from top, top to bottom, 2072 down to 1863 was 10% in just a little over three sessions. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today. Click here to subscribe to our analysis videos. Go to our website to sign up for our webinars and also click to watch Trader Talks, our videos that give you top trading ideas.